Welcome back to On Air. The movie podcast where we talk about, guess what, movies. You're lying. No. Now, tell us what um, movie we watched, Theo. I mean, I guess if we're doing movies. Yep, that's what we're doing. We've never done before. I guess <laughs> we'll... I guess it's we can new. do the, the, the Dune movies. The yeah, Dune Denis 1 Villeneuve's and Dune 2. Masterpiece duology, soon to be trilogy. Uh-huh. And we have a we have a special, special guest, guest today. Very special guest. Very special. We've yeah, de- okay, it's Desiree. Desiree. We've Yippee. we've uh said her name before, but we never Yeah. Yeah, I'm always the faceless person behind the camera, mm-hmm. which we, is my preference. <laughs> mm-hmm. But we didn't have enough people today and we didn't want to do another everything everywhere all at once. Mhm. So yeah, I'll come yap. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yay. We like yeah, we like to yap, uh, except <laughs> for when it's people we don't like. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be doing the Dune movies today. All right, who wants Just to start with papers. some some general thoughts here? General. General thoughts. Um, who's that? What 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 battalion okay. did he lead? I'll start then. Um, Still got. I liked the um, <laughs> the, I liked them. They were okay. I think um, I liked the the second one better than the first one, just because more stuff like actually happened. Like, the first one was, like, so boring. I sat mm-hmm. through it, and I was, like, and I just kept, like, pausing and then leaving the room. <laughs> and I would, like, and I would be, like. Gen Z attention <laughs> span. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to call me out like that. Um, I'm not. I'm calling out the Generation Z. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? Um I'm Canadian. I'm actually Canadian, guys. Wild. Um. Uh, but <laughs> I would like watch the movie would be playing and I'd get up and walk away and my parents would pause it I'd be like don't pause it keep it playing I want to come back and it'd be a completely different scene <laughs> I don't like it, it just wasn't I didn't like it it, it definitely w- was a lot of build up and yeah. there's so many like space words <laughs> oh my gosh they kept using these big confusing words mm-hmm. I was so confused throughout the majority of it as I am with most movies but the <laughs> this one was like kind of like I just my couldn't. Yeah, I just couldn't. The second one was a little better. Um, also, oh, it was like that. almost three hours long. I thought it was gonna be the same amount of time as the first one. So no, yeah, the combined but no. total movies is like five, five over hours, over five hours. Wow. Yeah. Um, so I told my dad, I was like, hey, t- I I kind of need to watch it like now, and he was like, it's nine o'clock. <laughs> Can't you do it tomorrow? And I was like, No, the podcast is tomorrow. Don't and he was you like, get it? He was like, Oh, okay. So he had to pause his YouTube video so I could use the TV. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't happy about it. Yeah, um, I would. But he be. does like the Dune movies, so yeah, it's I okay. had to. I had to. I forgot to watch it until today, <laughs> so I watched most of the movie on my phone in between doing school. So that's fair. I wish I could do that, but I can't do that on my computer. Um. But yeah, those are I I liked it. They were all right. Um, what are, what are your general thoughts, Theo? See, with the first movie, I have this. Uh, I have this. Uh, so the first time I watched it, I had you know my parents, my brother, my cousins, my aunt and uncle. We were all at my house watching the movie, and the funny thing about that is that no one would shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so in between watching this you know, pretty heavy movie mm-hmm. um, that was confusing and slow enough as it is. Mm-hmm. I had, I, people were talking over it the <laughs> whole time and I, we, I barely got a moment of, to be like, what's happening? <laughs> so obviously I didn't think too highly of the movie um, after the first time I watched it. Mm, that's um, fair. But then... Since uh, part two is coming out, and I've heard I heard like great things about it, I was like, so I want let, let's watch the first one, and um, so we rewatched it, uh, just me and my parents, and I actually really liked it. Um, what, what and we had like captions on this time, so I was able to understand what was happening, like what they were saying. So I was able to enjoy it, get into it, um, and I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, and then I think it was because, like, I wanted to watch Dune 2 for my birthday. So I, we watched it, like, a couple days after my birthday, I think. And I was blown. I loved 
the part two. I really love it. It's one of my favorite movies. It's actually really great. Mm. It's a really beautiful film or mm -hmm. a set of films. It, they have a um, really beautiful look. I think when I first watched the first one, I had to pause like 20 minutes in and ask like the person I was watching it with, like, can you explain to me what's going on? <laughs> yeah. like, like, who is this person? Who's that person? Like, I really struggled with like the connections between people mm -hmm. because unlike Star Wars, where all the names of things, it's like lightsaber, X-wing, <laughs> like these had crazy names, like, and so many houses in history that you mm -hmm. have to like kind of catch up with. So it did take me a second, but I found the first one really interesting just because if anything, it was just really pretty, like, yeah. to oh, look yeah, at. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, wow, this is a very expensive screensaver of a film. <laughs> um, but the second one's story, like, really completed it, and it really should have been just one long thing, or, like, mm -hmm. I feel like the third one is going to make it, like, this extreme miniseries. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's just, yeah, beautiful, but one total story versus, like, <laughs> little arcs. That was Yeah, that was the problem with um, the movie from the 80s, which... Yeah. They try to shove it into two hours, mm -hmm. and they, there's no way they could have done that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I watched that movie. Mm -hmm. Not good, but really, really funny. So funny. I watched that recently, so I ended up watching the 80s film and the 2000 miniseries just to like have a total thing. I didn't mm -hmm. get to the sequel of the miniseries, The Children of Dune. Um, Get out of my mind. <laughs> but the 80s one directed by David Lynch is wild looking. It oh, yeah. doesn't make sense. You could not follow <laughs> it if you tried. Oh. Um, only having watched the other two, the Villano ones, um, could I be, understand what even was happening. But it is definitely a so bad it's good film. Oh, yeah. Like when... Um, so there's different plot endings. The way the 80s one ends, like, he, Paul is wonderful, and he saved everybody, and there's nothing problematic mm -hmm. about him. Yeah, no, that's and not the, at all. And the, the toddler, the psychic toddler, ends up killing the Baron. Oh. Like, just as an afterthought, like she wa oh, she like God. waters guys, waddles in and is like kill, <laughs> we forgot and that's to kill it. the bear guys. We, uh, have the toddler do it. I don't know. <laughs> Literally the a toddler, and then she does like a dance outside in the sand <laughs> with the knife and the uh, I think it's called the gob jammer. Gob what? Which is the gom jabar? Gom jabar, yeah. which is I, like the poisonous I, dart thing, I've which seen she kills him with. So much. <laughs> and then she's inside, kills him does a little dance outside and then is just inside for the next scene. So yeah. the, I love the changes because it made it oh, way did. more interesting um, and gave it like more mm -hmm. depth. Yeah. De Des Desiree here so helpfully made uh, a sheet with all the, all the information you need. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, kind of like a family tree. Mm -hmm. Who's Glossu? That, <laughs> <laughs> I thought his name was Raban. Did I type something wrong? Oh. That's not the same at all. Yeah. Oh, well. I could, definitely got some stuff wrong, but I made this because I wanted a friend to watch the films and I mm -hmm. knew she was going to be confused. <laughs> so I was like, let me get this family tree going first. Um, All right. It was very helpful. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I was like halfway through and you handed this to me. Uh, halfway through the first one mm -hmm. and you uh, gave this to me and I was like, oh, that's what's going on. A lot of these characters. Like also, I, w I, w I will say... The whole prophecy thing, um, I still don't really understand um, what all that was about. Like, there, mm -hmm. like I don't get it. My dad was like, um, there was a scene where um, the the part where Chani was like uh, mad at um, Paul um, for mm -hmm. like taking up like a messiah role. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, wait, why is she mad? And <laughs> and my dad was like. It's because she's the voice of reason. And I was like, since when? Like, they don't say that. What's going on? Well, I'm so confused. They don't need to say that. It's implied. What? <laughs> what? I would definitely say that in the second film, they keep having Johnny be like, we don't need a leader. Like, we don't need the religion. Like, free men and have to save themselves. And yeah. Paul's like, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, and, um, and then at the end, he switches up on her and he's like, I mean, unless I'm the god, and then <laughs> um, and then you don't need to free yourself. He was, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Chani was like this. Uh, the, uh, so the thing is, the pe the fremen in the north, the Fedaikin, um, don't 
believe. You got like detailed words. Oh, oh. yeah. The Fadaikin, they don't believe in the Lisan al Gaib, which is the, the prophecy. They don't believe mm -hmm. all that. They believe that the Fremen sh uh, should be led by one of their own, and the Fre like Arrakis needs to be freed by the Fremen. Mm -hmm. But the uh, Fremen in the south, the fundamentalists, mm -hmm. I'm well versed. Oh my god! <laughs> I've watched this movie. I've watched especially part two. I've watched it too many times. <laughs> um, but they believe they believe in the prophecy, which is why. Mm -hmm. Um, Paul is so scared to go to the south in part two because he's scared that he will be turned into the the leader, um, and he doesn't trust himself because he's seen like that if he becomes the leader, if he becomes the the Messiah, then it'll lead to like the big war that mm -hmm. will kill a, like a billions. So that's what that is. Oh. <laughs> Then he does it anyway. Yeah, he yeah. he like he's so against it and then he um he drinks he the, the, the water of life, which is like mm -hmm. the worm poison. And um th that basically unlocks um his like what is it? Um psychic the, I think they call it the wearing way. The what? We weirding, I think. Weirding but, way, yeah. Um, it's like I think it was how the benefit of I think it's it, called like, it was called the sight. In the first movie, he basically, it's like his, um, pre, pre cognition, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it helps him see the future better. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, right. So he mentioned his visions being clear. Yeah. Um, so he see, he also sees like his past and mm. how like they're Harkonnens. So, and he says, that's how we'll survive by being Hark he, That's like. He ba uh, basically that like that's the only way they can win is if he like become he like you know he leads them like Harkonnens do. That's why his speech is so harsh. He like needs to force them to his side. Mm. Which, but, by the way, the speech is the best part of the movie, and I watch it all the time. <laughs> but his visions, like we saw, were incorrect. Like they didn't come to pass. Right. That's mm -hmm. that's like the one of the points. Um, Paul has like like we see. In the first movie, Paul has visions of Jamis, um, l like teaching him how to be a Fremen. He's not on there. Oh, <laughs> um, how'd you know I was looking at the paper? Because that's how you look at it. <laughs> um, but yeah, he sees visions of uh, Jamis, uh, like teaching him how to be a Fremen. But then at the end of the first movie, he kills Jamis, um, showing that like he can change it. It's not all like mm. determined. Um, which is why, like, oh, yeah, his, like possible different futures. Yes, yeah, his choice at the end of the movie to start the w like the big war is like a tragedy, basically. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely, and I I'm glad they like switched up Chani's character to like really drive that home. Oh yeah, in the book she's like, in the movie she's like, I love you, Paul. I'll do whatever you want. Yeah, in the '80s movie or yeah, '84, I think. She is in like three scenes. Oh, they yeah, like she's meet, in it. they kiss, they're in love, and they're together. Mm -hmm. Um, and she just stays with him. She just kind of stands there. And in mm -hmm. the book, she's um, she does the same thing, but I think that's more like representative of how like people blindly follow these leaders. That's the whole point yeah. of these books. Like, people, mm -hmm. you you shouldn't lead like blindly follow these leaders. Yeah, even when um. When Paul marries the emperor's daughter in the book, mm -hmm. Chani's like, "I'll stay with you. Yeah, I'll just Ch be like in the background." Uh, Chani becomes his concubine, yeah, which is what uh, Paul's mother is mm -hmm. to his father. Yeah, um, but then when the book like got released, everyone was like, "Oh, Paul's like a hero," and the writer was like, "No, no, 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 no." no, no. That's the opposite <laughs> yeah. of what I said. So he wrote a whole book called Dune Messiah, which is like spelling out word for word like how Paul is. Which Not like, no um, which is <laughs> no yeah, which, which is what they're like. Denis Villeneuve is like, if people don't get it in this movie, I'm gonna hammer it home. This is like, it's not a, like a question. Mm -hmm. Paul's mm -hmm. like a bad, like becomes a bad, and they show that like he's trying so hard to resist um, becoming, you know, the 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 leader mm -hmm. that like brings everybody to war, but then he at the end he like. 
he falls victim to um <laughs> he falls victim the to power. the power yeah. yes yeah. he's like corrupted by it mm. so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. remember yeah. when you first watched it or when maybe it was the rewatch you came in and you were like non-stop like quoting this film oh, oh yeah. yeah which is you know I, I I fell for it, you know, mm -hmm. but everybody was, you know, it was yeah. like t edits were all over. Yeah. I am Paul Moadib Atreides, Duke of Arrakis. <laughs> but that, when I first saw that, that um, speech, I mm -hmm. was like, Timothy Chalamet, you're a good actor. <laughs> like that, yeah, no, that, that scene was like, convinced me of Timothy Chalamet's worth as an actor. <laughs> Cause like before I was just wow. like, I was like, he's, he's good. He's not like incredible, but he's good. Mm -hmm. But that scene, he was like on fire. Yep. That is the best scene in the movie by far, at least in my opinion, mm -hmm. by far. Mm -hmm. Michael, do you have a favorite scene? Um, I like the, um, the, the part where, um, Paul is like, uh, the, the, the part, I don't know how to explain it. Um, the, what's his name? What's the, this guy? How do you Fade, say his name? Fade, Fade Rafa. Yeah, that guy and Paul, their fight. Mm -hmm. I liked that scene. That's great. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. and then the, um, and then when Paul like yells, um, at the the old lady and she like visits, <laughs> she like flies yeah, back yeah. Mm -hmm. like that. Consider what you're about to do, Paul Atreides. I I have like so many scenes in this memory. <laughs> I've seen this too many times. Um, I also I really like the the um, the the big the battle scene because um, I liked the worms. The mm, worms are cool. Awesome. I also like the part where Paul was riding the worms for the first time. Oh yeah, that's great. Um, it's a great scene. They mm -hmm. shot that with no like exterior lighting. They're just using oh. the sun, and mm. basically everything's in camera besides obviously the worm. But mm -hmm. they built like t tubes that would drag um behind trucks to like be the worm oh. so like he is like running Actually jumping on. doing crazy mm -hmm. things or his stunt double i'm sure mm -hmm. um but yeah they shoot it all with the light they he had like a really clear vision mm -hmm. so they like moved sand dunes so that they could <laughs> be shaped like correctly for the light to match what uh the director like wanted the audience to like get out of it mm -hmm. and there's these awesome shots where it's just like so empty and then just like the dot that is Paul to like right. show how yeah. vast it is. I, I, I saw like an interview with like, I think the cinematographer and he was like, while trying to like, we scaled Arrakis to be so big, like mm -hmm. it engulfs these characters. And sometimes we literally ran out of room, you mm -hmm. know, trying to fill this space. Yeah, the cinematographer is Greg Frazier. He did The Batman, The Mandalorian, love the Batman. Vice, Rogue One, Foxcatcher. I love The Batman. We gotta do Batman's that. great. We gotta do that movie. Um, mm. I want so bad. I don't know if I'll, I don't think I'll ever be able to, or I don't think I ever will, but I want to learn the Fremen, lang Fremen language. Uh, I think it's mm. Chiklopsa. I want to learn it. So I just Googled it. Amazing. I want to learn it so bad. I I only have like, I tried to, at one point I tried to like, uh, you know, memorize like his, like the speech and told him I couldn't mm -hmm. do that. But mm -hmm. I have this one uh, phrase memorized. Um, uh, it goes, Adam Rashi Asanta, which is long live the fighters. That's what he says to mm. um, the crowd right before the big finale. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. It was That's awesome. The language like was written for the film, right? I th think so. Yeah. Um, wild. Like they, they had a like a, a whole okay. dialect coach. You know. Yeah, I I don't know how that works. I don't that know. you're like we need a new language, so like make just one. make one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That'd be sick though. Yeah. I want to learn the language, but it's not <laughs> it's not on Duolingo. Oh no, I'm sure if, if you ask very nice, <laughs> they'll put it on hey, just for you. Hey, Mister Owl. <laughs> Mr. Duo, can you Mr. please Duo. put this Wait, one? Please. please? Is that the owl's name? Yeah, Duo? his name is oh. Duo. Oh, okay, cool. I've, I've never had the app. He sends me emails every off <laughs> every once in a while. I heard he's really uh, aggressive. Uh, sometimes. Uh, you will learn this language. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. If you lose this streak, 
I will blow up your house. Oh my God, so aggressive, Owl. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the, this is so off topic, but I have to tell you this. Um, There was, um, for April Fool's, he did, uh, uh, Duolingo did um, a thing on YouTube where it was like they put out a, like a Duolingo on ice thing. Mm -hmm. And the songs are really funny. No, I didn't say that. It's, you have to watch it. Is he skating and like the He's, mascot? He, the mascot, ma- the mascot oh, yeah. is skating on the ice uh-huh. and um, they're singing and half of it is in English and half of it is in Spanish uh-huh. and all the Spanish parts are threats. Oh my God, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's really funny. You spelled emperor wrong. <laughs> I typed a lot. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm, um, I wasn't ever a good speller. Uh, can we talk about um, favorite characters and stuff? Oh yes, I would love to. Oh. Then you characters. can go first. Oh, okay. Um, well, definitely Chani is mm. my favorite in terms of like who I side with, who I agree with. But if I'm just saying overall, uh, Fade Ratha is like that girl in all the films. <sighs> like they always cast like a, in the 80s one, in the miniseries, in this one, they always cast this like stereotypical like hot guy and then they make them super weird <laughs> and they're like you're gonna just be weird your outfits are gonna be weird i will kill him and the scene where we first are on like the harkonnen planet seeing fade rotha battle in like the black and white i uh, think it's infrared actually yeah no they shot it in infrared and oh my like, god so cool looking so mm-hmm. everything learning about his background is weird and you're like He's not a good guy, obviously, <laughs> but just super interesting as a character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know you put a little fetus around Aaliyah. Yeah. Aaliyah. That's it's so really we knew. It's yeah. so we knew. It's so we knew it was the talking baby. Yeah. I hated all the inside mm. the womb shots. Babies yeah. look freaky. <laughs> yeah. And I, I said that out loud, and my mom was like, okay. Hey, you know what you were one time? <laughs> you like, I feel like... Uh, <laughs> All, like animal and baby in the womb all <laughs> look alike. Uh, so yeah. you're just like this pink blob and it like is threatening her and like giving her like <laughs> feedback. It's very weird. In the 80s one and in the miniseries, uh, it gets born mm-hmm. and we don't just get this yeah, like flash it's, forward it's of like, a instead, beautiful blonde girl. Yeah, instead of um, in, in like the book, instead of it being like a, like a few months to like a year, that he spends on Arrakis. That's like mm-hmm. two years. So yeah. the daughters and the daughter. I think the daughter's like, like gets birth, yeah. born, uh, way earlier. Yeah. So mm-hmm. like she's like two years old instead of like. A oh yeah, my parents were talking about that in mm-hmm. the the scene where the, with the emperor at the end, um, um, in like the Baron, and when the Baron dies, my parents were like, the yeah. daughter kills the Baron. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, and this one. Oh yeah, they they, they quoted the something. Knife. They quoted something. He was like, um, my dad yelled. He was like, grandfather, and I didn't get it. I don't. I think it's from the book. Yeah. So in, I don't think they reveal it in these movies, but in mm-hmm. um the book and in the other uh, pieces of media. We learn that Lady Jessica is the daughter of the Baron. No, they, right, they, 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 oh, they okay. did yeah, say no. they did. Yeah. So like yeah. He's, he's like, uh, he's mm-hmm. like, did my father know? And she's like, I didn't know myself until I joined the womb. Yeah. Okay. So they mention it, but yeah, in the in the eighties one, in the short flashback. one, she uh, is born and threatening her grandfather, and then stabs him with the little needle, and then dances about it. She's nice. very creepy, to be honest. Like, she's threatening. Like, the Fremen are like, I don't want to go near that thing. <laughs> and she's like, they look at me funny, mother. <laughs> well, obviously, <laughs> you were talking in the womb. Yeah. Who wouldn't? <laughs> yeah. It's, um, I would be scared. Yeah, it's very creepy. Character. Babies are creepy in general. So. Agreed. I don't know. I like a lot of people in this movie. I think every character is very well-rounded. Um, so you go first. Oh, um, my favorite character? Um, I don't know. I feel like they're all kind of like, I don't know. They're all kind of like, I don't know. Usually in movies I have like a favorite character, but this one I just feel like they're all like, almost all of them are kind of like not great. Yeah. So I can't really like all of them. I I will say um, like Chani, she's, 
she's good. Uh, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like she doesn't really, like she shows up like a mm-hmm. lot, but I feel like she doesn't really have like a personality. She doesn't really have any like. Don't watch the movie. Don't watch the eighties movie. Yeah, I just feel That's like she, like like when she was with the that friend at mm-hmm. the the towards the beginning, mm-hmm. she was like laughing and stuff. But like later, you don't see her just like hanging around. Which well, I understand, because, you know, they're going to fight and stuff. Well, no, let me just I'm not say, done. Well, let me just <laughs> no, say, I'm not, not done. I'm one, not done. One thing about the friend. No. One thing about the friend. Fine. The friend does die. Well, obviously, Theo. So I know that. She can't be chilling around buddy-buddy with her f- dead friend. Oh, my Lord, Theo. I know. But, yeah, I was just like, it's not like that was her only friend. She had other friends. I think they, it was explained like they were either like swayed to be with like believing in Paul or um, they died. Oh most, my gosh! Most okay, of them, so. whatever. That's not my point. I also like um, I also like Steel Guy. He's a, he's a really nice guy. Um, there was there was one scene with him um, where I forget which one, but Paul fights or does something. And then he stands up, and his he's the first person to go, he's an Al-Qaib. Like, <laughs> like immediately, his, yeah, no, his eyes he, light up. He's like, whoa. He, yeah, no, he he's fights. Oh, that, yeah, that, he that fights, one, that uh, one. Fade Ralph, yeah. and then... The um, reason I remember that like, is because my like, parents... He's an Al-Qaib. Yeah, my parents <laughs> started laughing immediately. Um, I think I, I also like Princess Irulan, or whatever her name mm. is. Um, I don't know why. I think she's neat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I... I think I think um, Gurney Halleck is a really fun character because, mm-hmm. like, he in the second movie he's kind of more like played to be um, like a comedic, like a comic, comedic relief mm-hmm. character. But I still think he's like it's like really engaging mm-hmm. how he's like basically the last survivor of like ex- except for Paul obviously, but he's like the last survivor of like the Atreides, mm-hmm. um, and he's like looking for revenge. Mm. And he basically, and he turns, I don't know. He's really yeah, fun. I mean, he kind of, again, the whole the whole film's kind of like this morally gray area, which mm-hmm. I think you kind of pointed out when you were talking about how you can't like Pick fully go behind yeah. any character. But like, he's definitely the person that's like, let's use these bombs. Like, <laughs> let's use this. And you're like, oh man, like that's not the right thing. But yeah. also I get why you would In say that. In another universe, he'd be from America. Oh yeah, in the '80s movie, um, he's played by um, uh, oh, pa- uh, the, Patrick Stewart. Uh, yes, Professor X. This is a hawk. <laughs> and animal. there's a shot of him like in the war, running with the Atreides pug. They had like a dog, <laughs> what? which didn't make it into the other films, even though it was Dang the best it. part of the film. Uh, and he's like shooting people, and then there's like running with the pug, <laughs> oh and it's God. the best shot of one of the of that movie. That's so yeah. funny. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Um, I th- also, it's really interesting how, um, in the, you know, in these movies, um, Lady Jessica, Paul's mom, mm-hmm. is a, a lot more of a villain than she was in, um... Oh, yeah. Because, like, in the 80s movies, she's, mm-hmm. like... Wh- I mean, everybody's kind of, like, a, a, a better person. It's, like, very mm-hmm. obviously good guys, mm-hmm. bad guys. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's no gray area. Paul is, like... The, like actually is the real messiah mm-hmm. you know but um and like you know everybody who follows him is just oh i follow you i i'm a goody two shoes uh-huh. mm-hmm. but um yeah no like she's a lot more like villainous and like she's trying to like get everyone to believe in paul and mm-hmm. even when paul's like stop it she's like no yeah. and um at the end, she's like talk, she's like telepathically talking to the the Reverend Mother, mm-hmm. and um, she's like, uh, "You should have picked a side." And um, the Reverend Mother was like, "You should. You yeah. of all people should know that this isn't about sides, or there's no sides." Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I come to realize that like, with the Bene Gesserit, yeah, that's not. You don't pick a side. You see. You like plan. You, like observe, mm-hmm. and like you know you just plan so that it goes your way yeah it was all about control like the whole Bene Gesserit plan was to eventually have a Harkonnen son be with an Atreides daughter Mm -hmm. 
so that they would wed and then the Bene Gesserit would have control over the universe. Like they would make that son the emperor and all of their like devious little whispers that have been like happening the whole time and like making this mm-hmm. religion would uh, like come to power and they would be able to control that person versus just like, I'm trying to advise you in the way that I want you to go. Mm-hmm. They could just be like, do this, do this. And they would control so it's very interesting that like Lady Jessica ignored that and had a son mm-hmm. and she said it was like oh because I love Leto so much like and he really wanted me to have a son and then seeing her in the second one you're like is that what happened or did you see a way that you could get power like solely mm. by controlling Paul yeah and you just and you uh, in the first movie, uh, the Reverend Mother said to her, you, like, you were told to bear only daughters, mm-hmm. but you and your pride thought you could uh, bear the, the Quetzaltzatarak. Mm-hmm. I'm really trying to get these pronunciations down. I so. think you're killing it. Quetzaltzatarak. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, so she's... Mm-hmm. She, I, this really seems like she was just trying to get power and, like, trying to, you know... Yeah, and the, um, the part where... The what? Uh, she tells Paul to drink the thing, mm-hmm. and and he does. And Chani is like, "You did this to your own son." Mm-hmm. Wild. Yeah, yeah, that's not a great mother. Yeah. You know, at the at the um in the first movie, I was like, "Oh, mother and son bonding. Mm-hmm. They're so cute." Second one, not so much. Yeah. Um, you know. <laughs> no, I agree. In the first one, you're like, "Oh wow, she's like a strong lady. She's mm-hmm. awesome." And then there's that like arc in the second one where it shows her like talking to everybody and like spreading his message and Mm -hmm. like really putting her Bene Gesserit ways to like use and you're like oh man this is this is not good like this is going south real quick yeah Um, literally they go south (laughs) that's good thank you (laughs) anyway um Oh, can I talk about the the sound? There were yeah. there were parts where um in the desert they were just like completely silent, and those were probably some of my favorite scenes because they were just so cool. Like, and, and like they're in the desert and they're trying to walk silently. Mm-hmm. Um, do it make sense that it would be actually silent? There was like no music at all. Mm-hmm. Speaking of the music, I'll get to. Oh yeah, the music was great too. Oh yeah, the music uh, was so fantastic. I think, um, Hans Zimmer, who you know did the score for not only this movie, but he mm-hmm. did like The Dark Knight. He did a bunch of like Christopher Nolan movies. Mm-hmm. He said, I think he tried to make the music like music that you would hear on an alien planet. Like, and he succeeded because mm-hmm. this the score for these movies is just perfect. Mm-hmm. Like. The, uh, um, right after he's like, so this is how we'll, we'll, we will survive by being Harkonnens. It cuts to this, him like walking, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he walks like this, um, to the, the place where, you know, he does a speech. But mm-hmm. one, the shot of him, like, him walking and the worm coming up behind him, mm. that, that was like a great shot. But also the music like is so sinister sounding. Mm-hmm. And like you, you get the hint like, this is awesome, but also like, mm. oh, oh. and and then he does his speech, and then it's like, a, like a little, like it's, it's like, try, it's what is the word, triumphal, triumphant, triumphant, yeah, that's the word I can speak, um, though <laughs> it's triumphant, but not like heroic, you mm. know, mm. and it's hinting at the fact that like he's, you know, become an, sort of an antihero. And mm, yeah. also, the opening monologue um, with, of Princess Arulin mm-hmm. um, is not only a great monologue, but also the music. It's it's per- it's so good. The music is just so mm-hmm. perfect in this whole thing. Also, that has it go. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That reminded that. me of uh, like Lawrence of Arabia, like the stereotypical, <laughs> like what you think of when you're in the desert. Right, this is yeah. what the music that goes to it. But it was really good. Mm-hmm. And I really like the sound of the desert, especially oh, yeah. like I like that the sand like foot. I like the foot steps in the desert. Like it, it's, <laughs> I thought you were going to end it at I like the foot. I like the foot. No, they should have just rolled. 
<laughs> May, uh, maybe. But um, yeah. I like... Low the, to the ground, too, so that it got seen. Yeah. Easy. The, the footsteps in the desert are so crunchy. I love it. Mm. The sound design is very nice, very appealing mm -hmm. to yeah. my ears. I saw a thing with the director where he was talking about getting the sound of, like, the sand falling over itself and how it was, mm. like, a very specific sound that he, like, wanted. He was so happy the sound designer got it. Mm -hmm. And then, like... The sounds of the worms were really cool because it wasn't like, like dinosaur-y or like monster movie Godzilla-y. Mm -hmm. It had this like really dry, weird sound, like mm -hmm. like a storm almost. It was very mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I also didn't know. Um, speaking of the worms, yeah. um. So they might have mentioned it in the, these set of films, but I didn't. I m I missed it. Mm -hmm. But in the other ones, in in Dune, um, in the eighties, in the miniseries, they like explain that the spice comes from the worms. Yeah, no, I I looked oh. it. I, I like saw yeah. that in like a Google search. So I don't know. In the eighties, one is what like kicked it off in my brain because when Paul drinks the water, they like tie him up and leave him in the desert <laughs> and he drinks yeah, the water yeah, no, and do. the worms show up and just like hang out around him. Like, wow, we're, we're so excited you're with us now. And they like surround him and they just hang like, out. And then what? I was like, that's weird. And he's like, worms is spice. Spice is worms. And you're I, like, what? Yeah, well, I remember, it's, I, like, I remember watching that and I was like, are you on marijuana? <laughs> yeah, it sounded like weird. I, I assumed it was like because like the trip of in, the um, water. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. in um in the Avatar remake show, like the live action show. Yeah. Um, and, like Aang is like explaining bending to Katara, and he's like, energy bending is energy, and you feel the energy, and then you can bend or whatever. It's like. You just said the most redundant statement I think I've ever heard. You said nothing. And and it's like that's what it's like. That's a whole spice lot of is worms. Is spice is just worms. Just flat out is say spice. Mm -hmm. the spice comes from the worms. Yeah. So in the miniseries, they like or, spell it out more. Yeah. No. It's mm -hmm. it's more like it, the 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 like inner monologues and in, um, it's more like ASMR. It's like spice is worms is spice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They That's use they point. use that a lot more. Like I think they used it in this movie and like when um what's her name? They don't have her on here. Um <laughs> but like the the Bene Gesserit went to meet Fade Ralpha. Mm. Um, oh yeah, the other They had her like speaking like to him. But um Ye in the in the 80s movies it's like a lot. It's like um we hear he's every like, character's in a mar in her monologue. It's like um, he, Paul's like he's hiding something about the spice. It's like it it really is ASMR. He's like, oh yeah, I bet you would. I don't know. It don't reminds know. me of almost like an anime where mm. like something little happens and like I think of Dragon Ball Z for this. Like something little happens. There's like a guy standing there and they're like inner thoughts like oh my god i feel his power surge yeah. and you're like he's just standing there and he's like oh my he's god they don't even notice what's happening right now i've noticed that i can feel his power and you're like oh okay so i feel like because the 80s had such a short time to sell both the stories or this whole arc mm -hmm. uh they use the inner monologue from the book a lot so like you're like Theo said, you're like in the middle of like an action scene, and then he's like, "She must be doing this." Yeah, like, it's like what? it's it just really breaks up the flow of a scene. Mm -hmm. It's like mm -hmm. it's like they're having a regular conversation, and then it just cuts to him, one of the characters staring like, with like the monologue <laughs> like, "Yeah, I I noticed what he said." Yeah, it'd be really weird. Like, um, imagine like Paul's doing whatever, and then we just hear like. Chani, instead of just staring at him and we're supposed to know she's like contemplating if like we hear her in a monologue. I don't like what he just did, but like, that's like really the, uncool. In the, in, the, in the 80s movies, it just cuts to like, I don't know, foofier Hawat or whatever, just what? star staring at Paul like mm -hmm. with like the craziest ASMR monologue going. Oh, yeah. And at the beginning of the 80s movie, they spell out all the twists that oh, we yeah. have in <laughs> the, the, these movies. Oh, so yeah, no, they, right they away, you know, the emperor everything. is setting him up. It's okay. before we even meet Paul, you find out the emperor is going to set up the Atreides <laughs> and he's being like controlled by like the guild or whatever. <laughs> and in the um, 
miniseries as well. And then you also find out that the Bene Gesserit is not like actually believing in what they're saying, that it's all a plan for power. They just tell you right at the beginning, there's no twist. There's just like, this is happening. That's so they boring. Also, yeah, no, they also have uh, guild navigators in the oh, movie. And, what? And the, in Please the tell Michael movie. about this. Okay, Please so do. basically in the in the books, so they don't show them, but they, they're mentioned at one point in the first movie. Um, guild navigators are the, the reason they can travel in space. That's what the spice is used for. Oh. There are these people who like consume so much spice that their body like mutates. Mm -hmm. You can oh. put like a picture up on screen and <laughs> post or whatever. But like <laughs> I'll find it. Yeah. But they, they they're mutated and so like they can do like advanced calculations to know like how like where to go and like what path to take to get to where. Is that what those people were doing in that um that that one scene in the second movie? In the um uh, the the these guys there was like a bunch oh, of bald people um, that uh, Harkonnens are just bald yeah no no just, I know wild. that <laughs> but they were like, there was a bunch of bald people and mm. and they were all around this table and there was a giant glowy thing oh, oh yeah no, they're they just like just, observing yeah, oh there's a different thing book. okay yeah it's just, a different thing I'm just gonna thing. quickly pull up a, picture a different thing yeah while he show shows you, you um so in the 80s one they show you a guild navigator and again like they're having so much spice to bend time and space. That's how they travel through space. Jeez. So basically everyone gets on a spaceship and then the guild na navigator is like, all right, we're here. I'm looking at here. All right, good, we're, we're there now. <laughs> um, and that's because of spice. But in the 80s when he- Is he, spice it, like drugs? Yes. Yeah, 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 it's like a hallucinogen. Yes, and it gives <laughs> them like power and even like people that are not Paul can like get visions and dreams. Ah. Um, but it looks like a bug, like a giant <laughs> bug, or like. Um, I can't, and then this is the best picture I can find. I can like, go see. get screenshots. So uh, this is the bug yeah, you're no. seeing it on it's, screen right no now. Way. It's super gross. And then it's ugly. in the mini series, and its little mouth just like flaps no, when it's no, talking. No, 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 I don't <laughs> like that <laughs> at all. <laughs> That's just. And then disgusting. it has like a translator. It's like, no. all the treaties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, in the mini series, they show it once. As oh my god, I'm very sorry about that. Um, <laughs> wow, in the, <laughs> I'm so unprofessional. Uh, in the mini series, they show it once, and it's like this CGI gargoyle. <laughs> this is sorry. this is this is ridiculous. <laughs> the CGI gargoyle. It's a CGI gargoyle. It's like it has wings. It has glowing <laughs> eyes, It'll and it's fly like rotating. It doesn't fly. Roach it just shapes? no. It's rotating like. Bending oh. space or whatever. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. Yeah. I I understand why they didn't have them in the movies. I, it's it's nuts. <laughs> yeah. It the, is crazy. I don't think I would have liked that considering the Vladimir guy was already gross enough Vladimir, for me. Yeah. Vladimir, whatever. Baron I don't care. Harkonnen. Yeah. No. I don't think I care about Baron him enough to Vladimir get his name Harkonnen. right. Harkonnen. Can I tell yeah. you? He's so gross. There is one scene that I. I couldn't stop laughing at it was just like unintentionally funny mm -hmm. even though it was supposed to be very sad is when Leto bites the tooth to let uh -huh. out poison which in the like in the new movie in, like, yeah the in the new one okay. so um with uh the Baron's played by um the Skarsgård dad whatever mm -hmm. that right. is, Stellan. his yeah Stellan Skarsgård um they come back and he's because he floats or whatever. He's hiding. He's like in, in the, the corner roof of, of the corner. Like, he's like the corner he's of like, the roof. Ah. Like a bug, like a yeah. gross bug. No, he's like upside down. He's like. <laughs> yeah, he's it gross in really everything. Funny. Oh yeah, no, but like when um, he was like taunting Leto, which like Leto uh -huh. Um, you don't he have was to say like, his full name. How about I kill you? <gasps> No, Desiree. But, um, <laughs> but he's wrong. like he he's like like taunting Leto Atreides, who's like he was like paralyzed, and he's just like sh he's like you have a great kitchen. And he's like shoving food into his mouth. That's super gross. He's like, <laughs> I don't Your think we needed that ASMR of that. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> Disgusting. No, it's great. Everything with the Harkonnen planets is pretty gross. Like the black sludge that they're oh, in that I think no. is supposed to like heal them. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't, it looks like or he oil. just likes yeah. it because he's always in it. 
it soothes the skin, Raban. <laughs> like coconut oil, bro. Like there, <laughs> there are options for you. <laughs> oh my god. It's a Neutrogena. Like, what are we doing? Yeah. Um, They're a whole. Yeah. I don't like the bald people. <laughs> Michael doesn't like bald people. I don't like bald people. Wow, you heard it here first, folks. All right, yes, we're getting canceled. Yep. (laughs) Um, We didn't really talk about him, but um, Fade's brother. So, Roban. Roban. Or as you put it, Glossu. I must have just been copying and pasting. Um, Played by Dave Bautista. Dave Bautista. I've been loving Dave Bautista. Yeah, Drax and Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. It's great. We love him. Mm hmm. He was also in um, Knock at the Knock at the Cabin, I think. I saw that. It was yeah. pretty good. I didn't see that one, but he was in um, the beginning of Blade Runner 2049. Mm. And um, also, you know, by this director. And, right, yeah. Um, it's just, he's awesome. He's, he's someone that, like, I don't know why lately, like, rec- wrestlers have been breaking out of the wrestler mold and I being, know, like, like, amazing, super nice people and amazing actors. The Rock. <laughs> Def- especially, like, John Cena. I love John Cena. Super nice guy. He seems amazing, and he's from our area, so that's pretty cool. Whoa. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. He'll post yeah. about the North Shore Mall on, like, his Insta. <laughs> Oh, it's heck yeah. Funny. It's like, you haven't been back because... Or as Jeff, oh, Liberty Tree, I mean. Uh, mm. yeah. Or as Jeff, Jeff Bezos would say, oh, hell yes. <laughs> That's wild. I don't know anything about Jeff Bezos' laugh. Oh, I, <laughs> I got to show you a video okay. later. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> um, so, what talk. do you guys... <laughs> oh, my Lord. Uh, what are you guys looking forward to for the third film, which is like the third and final? Mm. Oh, um, I don't know much about it because I don't read. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's not that you don't; it's that you can't. Right? Yeah. No. What is this? What does this say? I should have put it in Fremen. You would have understood. <laughs> right. <laughs> I I know one phrase in Fremen, and it's. You just repeat Rishia the Santa. same phrase over Adam and over Rishia again. Santa, Adam Rishia Santa. It's ah. his own version of the Shining quote. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Shining, but it's long lived the phrase. Also, it, oh speaking gosh. of the Fremen language, in the 80s one, they just all spoke in English the whole time. Yeah. But in these Boring. ones, they speak in other languages, Boring. which makes it sloppy. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, what? You can't make up a whole language for your movie? <laughs> make up do your you own even, language. Do you even no. appreciate the art of film? No, if I, if David. any of my films needed a language, they're speaking Stimlish. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, we're not doing it. It's too much. That reminds me of. Um, uh, K- Katy Perry um, filmed her own, uh, like re- wrote her own song to be in Simlish for The Sims. <laughs> Amazing. There was a Sims. Well, dedication. Before your time, <laughs> there was Sims <laughs> oh my God. in the city, and it was, all, uh, it was all Black Eyed Peas mu- music <laughs> in Simlish. So just Fergie, you know, in Sim. Imagine like an Eminem's, like. <laughs> rap god or whatever oh i need that instantly. right now that's amazing <laughs> oh my hey whoever's out there and has Make it way too much free time do that i need some sims rap i would <laughs> absolutely love that Simlish, mm-hmm. like i don't know any other Eminem songs <laughs> um i was wondering if you guys had seen any other of denny villeneuve's uh films no i have not i saw i've seen the first blade runner but i haven't mm-hmm. gotten to the second yet Oh wow, the second one is beautiful. I, mm. The story of the first one is amazing, yeah. and the second one is real pretty. <laughs> mm. I I've expected it to be, yeah, because it's Denis Villeneuve. And you haven't seen um, world class director. Uh, Prisoners with Hugh Jackman. No, no, no. Oh man, a heavy movie. So I heard. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then Arrival is. You know, now that I'm thinking of it, he wrote, he made a language in Arrival as well. <laughs> he just really Fine. likes making up languages, huh? Wow. The um, Duolingo bird should be afraid of him. Oh, <laughs> for sure. Also, yeah, he's going to – he should he's make a whole app job. just teaching his language. I love it. But um, I see right here. Mm-hmm. It says uh, sh- thoughts on shooting style. And that reminded me of, like, we hear, like, a lot of movies mm-hmm. these days, like, especially, like, Big budget, like you know, mm-hmm. superhero movies mm-hmm. ha- are getting like criticized for bad like visual effects, and, like mm-hmm. CGI. Mm-hmm. But what Denis Villeneuve does, 
is he just fo- he like doesn't uh, compromise like a shot just to like show off a flashy effect. Mm-hmm. He he like has the, like the artists just it doesn't matter if like there's a dust cloud co- like concealing like the sh- the cool looking ship. He just has it like the lighting realistic mm-hmm. and like the, like he just has it all work like it should mm-hmm. and yeah. that's like really sells it. Yeah, he does a lot in camera. The CGI is always meant to like support the magic that is already happening, not mm-hmm. be the magic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think a lot of people end up going and looking like a Spy Kids movie <laughs> oh, yeah. versus oh, like no. Yeah, and we have amazing technologies. He talked about like um, using AI a little to get the blue eyes on the Fremen in part oh. two versus like hand painting it. I didn't even need to. Uh, uh, you know, bring like context or anything. I got, I got nice blue eyes because I'm better than all. <laughs> I'm um, not gonna say that. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you take that. Using blue eye supremacy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> if I you scooched away. <laughs> <laughs> it was Ew. a natural, blue uncontrollable eyes. movement. Oh. Ugh, this guy has blue <laughs> eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you have blue hair. Um. Yes, I'm matching. Yeah, but the whites of your eyes are white and not glowing blue. Do you have a mm. Do you have a marker or anything somewhere? That oh. would be painful. Oh, I'm oh. sure they're gonna make contacts because they have the like full. I think they're called silicas. Oh and They yeah. go across your whole God, eye. I, so I'm I would surprised. buy that in a heartbeat. You, but I'm surprised you didn't decide you were gonna do this for Halloween. Mm. I expected you to be uh, Paul. No. I'm <laughs> no. <laughs> he was like, bring up my greatest disappointment. I'm not that I'm not I'm not that good looking. Oh. I'm not I yeah. think I'm not Timothy Chalamet. Not not with that attitude you're not, buddy. I don't Timothy Chalamet. Uh, he looks Tim like Tim Jack Tim Skellington, Tim Skellington, guys. He's he looked like a stick. I don't know. I mean he's a very pretty Un- one, but unrealistic body standards, Jack Skellington. He does. I'm sorry. That's wild. Unpopular opinion. Mm. He's not bald. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I don't, I forgot who we're even. I don't. I lost track of who we're talking about. So, we we could be on Paul. I think. Yeah. Yeah. You went from Paul to Jack Skellington, and then I just because they're like, the same person. Yeah, I just kind of <laughs> lost. I just kind of lost focus, and then I. When focus? I came back, I was like, "Are we talking? Who like are we talking in about? Focus? Like Billy, Billy Eilish or Billy Eilish does not look like Jack Skellington. Wow. <laughs> um. So, what movie are you guys doing next? Oh, next movie. Oh, that's next movie. Uh, we're, are we that? Yep. Are we at the end? Already? We should. We usually do um, final ratings first. Oh, okay. Sorry. You got yeah. a little ahead of yourself. Calm I'm down. rushing you. <laughs> oh my god. Calm goodness. down. My bad. Um. Uh, I'll go with my final rating mm-hmm. first. So Dune 1, I would say, is like a, I think I rated it two and a half stars. Mm, yeah, you and did. then the second one, I rated three stars. You did. Why do you know that? Because I follow you on Letterboxd. I checked You today. followed me yesterday, Theo. Actually, it was today, I'm pretty sure. Oh, my God. So Can the audience the follow you if they want to? I mean, I mean, sure. I don't they, see why not. You can put your letter boxes. If you re- if you really sure. want to, I don't know. I don't think put my letter box down in the description. I think this podcast fun. is only as interesting. Only if as you put the other your letter box you know. in there too. So no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah, no. I just I followed you today, and I just decided to check because I you said you had reviewed them, but I. Mm. Mm. But. Um, Sure. Um, I would say individually, I, they are a little slow. Like, mm-hmm. but together, I do feel like it's a four. It's a great story. Yeah. I do really hope that Chani stabs Paul. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, that'd that be fun. That was your letterbox review. Mm-hmm. May Chani's knife chip and shatter into Paul's trifling butt. But she only goes <laughs> butt. Booty. I did say that. Um, yeah. A beautiful, beautiful film. I'm really excited for the third one, but mm-hmm. um, and then the villain was done after that, so Good. we'll see. Shouldn't overdo it. Mm-hmm. He's doing a lot. Let him rest. <laughs> you can rest now. Um, Do you have individual reviews? No, I I would say like as 
I would say the first one, maybe a three, three and a half. The second one definitely was the better of the two. Mm -hmm. But Mm -hmm. a a four combined. Okay. Yeah, I saw, saw like, a review saying, like, part two is more like Hollywood movie. Because they had less, like, part one is, like, a very faithful adaptation. Because, like, they had a lot to translate. But um, part two, they didn't have as much to work with, so they had to make like their own stuff. Like the the whole um, like final bat like battle like, for, with like the Fremen against like the the starter car mm-hmm. um, is basically just like the people sitting around in the like the throne room like being told what's happening. Mm-hmm. So they had to like make that whole thing up. Plus they had a bit of like comedy with like Stilgar and like Gurney. So yeah. I don't know mm-hmm. uh, for. Part one, I'd say, I don't know, probably like anywhere between a three and a half to four, because I, I just, I, I like it, I, I appreciate it a lot more every time I watch it, mm-hmm. you know? It may be slow, and like even like even when I watch it, like I rewatch it, I'm like, all right, can we get to the point, guys? <laughs> but I still enjoy myself a lot. And part two, I'd say four and a half. I, it's so good. So good. How do you make a film like that? Teach me the ways. <laughs> also, teach me th- that language, please. Thank you. All right. Um, I'm going to be multilingual, but one of the languages is not real. That's fair. All right. And now let's do our next movie. Our next movie our next is, is going to be Halloween, Halloween for the spooky season. It's spooky. Nice. The original or the yeah, newer the original. one? Oh, wow. Wow. Do you guys know anything yeah. about it? At the no, I've, I've seen <gasps> Ooh. I've seen it a bunch. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Cool. I'm excited. And will Una be back joining us? Uh, I think it's so. possible. We'll Hopefully. see. Awesome. It'd be nice. Been gone for a while. Well, Bro's we, been gone. We took a break. We took a break. <laughs> Scheduling conflicts, you know. Uh, what yeah, are you, gonna you do know, because we're such busy we're adult people busy who people. do adult things. Yep, I'm glad it, it you was could have d- penciled it in. It was definitely, <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely yeah. us that was busy. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Um, very busy people. Mm-hmm. I had yeah. stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, Lots I had like. A th- a th- I had like a homework. I had, yeah, I had. Homework. I'll be honest. I had nothing better to do. <laughs> Every Friday you were just doing a podcast in your own house, oh, yeah. like getting ready. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Practice. Po- it's and like then a, I put off watching the, the actual uh, movie for like two weeks. Wild. You had a and, month. <laughs> yeah, no, the, like, the SNL I like sketch where it's like, uh, it's, you know, it's it was like a podcast set, but it was like a play thing. You get to see that. It's really funny. <laughs> He's mm-hmm. like, now you can say all the controversial things you want, but no one Wild. will hear you. But then, like, his wife comes home or whatever, and it's like, are you live streaming this? <laughs> no, you keep me up on SNL. I, I don't watch it usually. Mm, I do. It's funny. Anyway, all right. That should be it. Yeah. Done, yeah, I think yeah. you got to send us off. We got to we gotta fill this up for two more minutes. No. Anyway, um, <laughs> Just send it off, man. Should we put this in, like, like in the video in case they absolutely i can link you to the family tree i made um, um thea make... will fix some of the language oh, that right. i misspelled okay. uh, i guess I, yeah i'll do that i guess <laughs> you'll have so many links down below it'll be crazy letterboxd mm-hmm. family tree mm-hmm. uh, the wikipedia page on this i don't sure. know if, i don't know if they have their own like wikipedia um, i bet they do and what I'm gonna uh, and I'm Why gonna are you send laughing? <laughs> Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Uh, what? What is, is there one I can? Is there a joke I can make? Chad, is there a joke I can make about this? Oh my goodness! Uh, All right, if you can, in the next three seconds. If not, we'll end it. Okay. Oh god! Oh god! Three. Glossopedia. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Bye. Live from New York, it's Saturday night. <laughs> anyway, we're okay. gonna have fun. We're gonna sign off. Good. All right. Uh, All right. Bye-bye. See you next week. <laughs>